Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Kill 10 Rats. Welcome back to Sorcerer King. Let us try some stuff today that I have been thinking about while contemplating how to continue this playthrough. Because I'm thinking, like, do I want to seek the confrontation with the Sorcerer King or do I just want to mess with him a little? And I decided to go for the messing with him route a tiny bit. So I will try and see how far we can push this uh, before the inevitable confrontation arises and to that end I am murdering a mountain here not murdering a mountain here but murdering a mountain here and I am going to call Varda back because I feel like we have something pretty much right on our doorstep that is still uh, sort of undiscovered country and I'd like to change that and I'm gonna see if I can actually yes I can I can actually go harvest this and make my way through here that is pretty excellent because we have a shard here we have a merchant city here that I've never seen before we have wild grain all sorts of stuff very interesting. Uh, I know I'm going all out on mana here, but uh, I am willing to risk it. No, you are actually needed there. Okay, no, we need a new scout. And we need a pioneer. Let's switch to a pioneer here. We can always pick up where we left off here because the production doesn't change. And let's make a scout. Uh, can we do that in one of the cities up here, I wonder? How are you guys doing? Oh, actually, I keep forgetting about this, um, this guy here. He should move in. Wow, you are slow as hell, dude. Um, corrupted Scion. Okay, interesting. Let me see, where could I, where could I build a scout? Uh, yeah, they just started a grand, seven turns, jeez, okay, no. Right, okay, we'll have to do it in one of these cities then. Stop producing food and train me a scout quickly. Right, uh, you, let's zoom out a little bit. Um, Corrupted Scion, you trot along this way. And... Mm, yeah, run along there. While well, this guy can go and score a bunch of chests. What the hell is this? A bazaar. Built in the ruins of a former... Of the former capital of Capitar. Oh, interesting. That looks promising. A nice area here that we broke into. Very profitable, I think. Let's see how this goes. What is he up to, anyway? Um. Okay, you're doing Market Maker again. And we'll have a Book of Experience again, please. Because we like that. And... Uh, what are we gonna do with you... Yeah, this is this is where we're headed. This is it right here. Um, might just go in there, or let's go to the inn. Late at night, you approach an inn that sounds like it's holding a riotous party. Inside, you find a massive fight in progress, no doubt the result of a misguided two-for-one drink special. Cowering behind the front desk, the landlord's eyes plead with you. He needs your help. Wait until the fight to show these idiots how it's done. Okay. With no small amount of experience at ass-kicking yourself, you proceed to ass-kick with much style and flair. The fight quickly ends and you discover some of the aforementioned idiots are impressed by you and wish to join your army. Oh god, no, go get away from me. Ugh. Um. No, 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 no. No, no, no. 
not interested in you guys, but maybe you can go into the merchant city and see what that's all about. You arrive at a large merchant city built up of caravans and tents. It looks like it could be folded up and carted away overnight, disappearing without a trace. It's full of shifty-eyed merchants trying to scrap the last bit of profit from the world before the sorcerer king grinds it to dust. Let's get to trading. After scouring the stalls and tables, you find a few things that might be of use to you. A mage staff, a nectar, a short sword, five platinum ore. Are you crazy? Um... Let's risk it for the major stuff and see what that is. A merchant city, you can trade for useful gear and equipment here. Okay, so it stays. And let's just have a quick look, see whether the... Where is Kaplan? He's in here, isn't he? Yeah, it's, I forgot I garrisoned these guys. Um. Everyone get out. Okay. Nice. And I think we'll march them... Where do we march them? Mm. I could actually use them down here as well, I think. Maybe. Like if there's a bunch of inns and stuff that we haven't seen yet. How long does it take you to get down here? One turn. Okay, let's march you down here and get you through here. And actually, let's have a look at that mage's staff. Is that any good? What did we get? Uh, I'm gonna flame. No, we got a battle mage staff. That's pretty awful, actually. Um. Fire attack. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Anything here we can equip on this dude? Sure. Why not? And... Uh, is there a use for that shield? You have that already? What about you? You have a shield of summer. Is this better? That is pretty good. The 50% cold resistance isn't bad, but the overall... Holy crap. Okay, achievement unlocked. Very nice. Again. Mm, I guess we can give the other shield to Nafas. Since he doesn't have... Oh. No, we can't because he uses a staff. We could give the other shield to one of the heroes in this army, maybe. Yeah, you use it. Okay, very nice. Nice, nice, nice. And who gets the experience? Um, hmm. I think we'll stick with Varda because... I want her to reach the highest level possible as quickly as we can. So you can read a little bit of, about the Legend of Tendis. Oh, the Sovereign leveled up as well. And I think that means we can now get the Enchanted Forge. Yes, we can. Unlocks the enchantment option when crafting, where you can use your spellbooks and found loot to boost the stats of crafted items. Okay. Right. Champion leveled up as well. Um... I think we're only able to go down this path now. Okay, let's do that then. And destroy our elite army. Is it actually... Does it make sense to mess with these guys now? No. I think we should just take out these uh, hubs of resistance. Uh, okay. Uncertain result. Interesting. Why? Uh, anyone here very strong? Not really. Okay. Um, trying to, to root out these uh, resistance hubs there just because then we can potentially oh 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 that's an interesting ability let's reserve that for later um, 
what was I gonna say? Yeah, I want to send the uh, Pioneer in as quickly as I can. So I kind of want to get everything here out of the way. And just pacify this as much as I can. Right, she is owning face again. And gathering us a nice amount of mana in the process, which I find very, very commendable. Like every time an enemy dies, we get two mana. Okay. There we go. You're welcome to attack me again so I can counterattack, please. Thanks. And one more. And another one. Yep, you come along and you die. Alright, that was very nice. And there's our pioneer. We shall walk the clouds. And we shall go um, hereabouts. You guys come on wandering in here. Pioneer, where do you end up? You go here. And I don't know what to do first. Maybe claim the shard right away, I think. Okay, we cannot attack that right now. Let's produce more pioneers, though. Uh, yeah, let's train another pioneer. Where's the... which city was doing the scout? Was it you? Yeah, okay. We'll summon the scout, we'll switch back to producing food so these guys can grow. And we'll get the scout to where we need him. Nope, that's not him. That's him. Okay, uh, let's get you to here. And then you can run along down here. So we can get some eyes on this region here and see what's in there. Because this is like right uh, right next to our home uh, territory. Only like... This is pretty hard to break down because you can't break down this sort of terrain. So we have to sort of make do. Mm, oh, it's these idiots. Okay. Yeah, you can just wait for the other army and you can join this... this uh, Muppet up there. Um, pass and idle city. Nariak. Uh, what can we do with you guys? You can build me a Erkson hovel. Just so we have that completed. And... Uh, didn't I just... Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Didn't I just put you on producing food? Okay, that is a little better. I think I forgot to confirm that because what the hell? Um, Tandis, okay. Overwhelming victory, auto resolve, goodbye. Let's step in here and get what we came for. Um, okay, let's run along into here. Alright, lots and lots of enemies. Alright, let's get this and then head on down here. See what this place is about. Let's head in there next turn then, I guess. Interesting. Former capital, I wonder if that's uh, like a callback to Fallen Enchantress then, because this is probably a place that existed in that game. Right, I want to take these guys up here. So we can get a hold on this region as well. Uh, who are you? You're the scout again. Okay, why don't you go here and have a look what's there. There's a chest, okay. You go get that then. Okay, there's another settlement zone as well. Go get that as well. Uh, get the pioneer in position. 
Wait, actually, if we f if we build an outpost here, that's friendly territory, right? And then we can teleport him to there as well. All right. There we go. Shard secured. You guys come here, please. Merge with this dude. And now you guys cloud walk over to where my outpost is. That's here. Okay. And then we'll get you to... Where was it? Down there? Okay. Now I just have to... Hmm. To kind of clear the way there though um okay let's varda have the way cleared maybe and okay can we go there yes we can that should be oh really mm. okay let's do a pounce and stun all these idiots um well, yeah, I kind of need Varda to... Uh, can you only attack? Oh, you're webbed. Alright. Uh, let's kill this thing. I can need Varda to go ahead of the... of the pioneers. To sort the area out before we can settle there. Okay. That's looking okay. Counterattack, please. Thank you. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's kill this and then go for the main event. You're actually doing a little bit of damage. That's not very appreciable for an encounter with Varda. Usually you just die. This is the custom of the land. Please uh, adhere to it. Thank you. Alright, there we go. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Touching twice? What the hell? There we go. Reality has asserted itself. Okay. Can you do anything? No. Hmm. Well, I guess we can sort of slowly... Yeah, okay. Hmm. Can we beat this? We probably can. I mean, we kind of have to mess with these guys just so we can, uh, just so we can get some levels going. Oh, is this actually a sorcerer king army? We might have to mess with him soon. Uh, okay. Wow, this is a horrible place. Wait, what? We can actually have. Oh, that's a that's our other city. Hmm. Well, that kind of sucks. Never mind. It's in the middle of the desert. And I think it's where the other um, civilization had its city, which is kind of weird. Why would they... Weird mages making... building cities in weird spots. Clem's group and Rummy's group. Where are these guys? Really? Oh, you can stay there. You guys are terrible. Um, no more pioneers. Maybe build... The, or, yeah, the rest of the Order of the Forge. Get back to it, please. Okay. Uh, what are you going for? You could go for... Armory, please. Thank you. Okay, a bazaar. Okay, you reach the outskirts of Ruvenna, former capital of the kingdom of Capitar. Although the nation was disbanded by the order of the Sorcerer King, it was not long before merchants returned here to their ancestral home to trade again. Let's get trading. After scouring the stalls and tables, you find a few things that might be of use to you. A Dwarven Axe, a Hellfire Staff, a major healing potion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the Dwarven Axe. It's expensive as hell, but I want to see if it's any good. And we can also get the Hellfire Staff. Okay. And actually, I was just passing through. That's fine. Um, 
Let's just quickly check if the axe is any good for... 10 attack, 4 physical, 6 cold attack, backswing, cleave. Requires level 6, cannot equip this item on this unit. Requires level 6, it could be something for this dude, couldn't it? Uh, not Kaplan, this guy. If he gets to level 6, he could use it. I think that could work. Yeah, he can equip it as well. Okay, we'll just reserve it for him then. That sounds good. And... Uh, well, let's get you a better shield, maybe. Mm, oh, right, the Amulet of Flame, actually. Hang on. Uh, no, you're not the one I was looking for. You are. There we are. Nice. Okay, guys. Uh, idle units. Who? You. Okay. Um... Oh, interesting. The spider grove is deserted. Because Varda killed it. Let's go through here as well. And I guess we'll collect the rest of the chests here as well. I will have a look at the crafting and at the... Uh, at the enchanting. Just trying to make a little bit more headway right now. I, I wonder if this applies to like already crafted items or only newly crafted items. Ah. Okay. Okay, we can... Ah, okay, so we can enchant all sorts of things. Holy crap. Accuracy. Ooh, okay, and health regeneration. Is there also... Uh, mana from kills? Is there also health from kills? I don't think we have this covered that yet, apparently. Hmm, that's a shame. That would be so good. Okay, what can we do with you? Uh, um, I'm not sure I want defense, initiative, fire is... Oh, resistances would be nice. Yeah, resistances would be very nice, I think. Oh, let's give you some fire resist on your helmet. And... Uh, maybe on your boots? Hmm. Oh. Have to confirm it as well. Okay. And... Let's do that. Okay. What can we put on this? Mana from kill, tactical health regeneration? What does that mean? Is that health regeneration in uh, in combat because it says tactical? Oh, but experience bonus, that's also pretty nice. Plus 10 health regeneration. Hmm. Accuracy is really good, I think. For the mall as well. I think I'm gonna put this on the sword. And I think I'm gonna put this on Tandis's sword as well. Where is he? Where is Tandis? He's probably up here, isn't he? No? There he is. Okay. Uh, Shadow Bro. Well. Um, yeah, let's put it on his hat, just because I think it's more likely that we might replace his sword in time than his uh, helmet. Okay, uh, there's an essence, so let's go here. Mm. Okay, what do we do? Go along this side. And down here, I guess. 
and get the pioneers. Ooh, no, 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 god, no. Oh, thankfully we don't end up next to them, but yeah, this is some... This is a job for you. And... Uh, yeah, let's go after the infester here. Hmm... It's just one unit? Okay. Hmm... Alright. If you say so. Uh... Do our attacks. See the difference between true strike and flank is pretty much non-existent for this one. Um, all right, let's pop the invulnerability just because it's pretty much uh, un like there's no downside to it. Mmm... Well... Uh, no, you don't do anything. You guys suck. Okay, you come and you lay down a... <laughs> let's, let's just have a look at what those do. Okay, you guys can... Also pass, and I want the beast slaying. Wait, this isn't a beast? Oh, hang on. Wrong ability, I think. Oh. Slay beast. Hello? Okay, that was hard to target. And that was nice. Oh, but there's still one alive. Okay, and <laughs> it killed the hawks. I think I can live with that. Nice little diversion there, Hawks. Okay, we got some XP for that. And... Where can we go? Hmm... Let's go to the Warlock's Hut. Uh, plunder this thing. And go over here to plunder the other chest. Eh. More barbarians. Oh, and a whole ogre hive. Or whatever you call that. Uh, where was that? Okay, those are up there. Hmm. We should probably send two pioneers up here now. Because we're almost ready to... Yeah, bye-bye. I was ready to found a city. Okay, one pioneer should actually be enough, as long as we... ...make haste there. Sorry to keep you from doing that, but I kinda... ...need you to build this, and then you can get right back to it. And we'll... ...get the cloud walk going, and... Put you as far north as we can, which is here. Hello? Why did that... Uh, what just happened? Where's my pioneer? There it is. Okay, cast and now please go here. Thank you. Okay. Try to catch up. I think the road was pretty clear, so that shouldn't be. Ugh. God damn it! Just as I say that. Okay, let's retreat a little bit, and then that should be fine for the moment. Let's just get into the woods and try and keep the road clear, so we don't end up getting run over. Okay, an abandoned village, and another chest. Nice. Uh, let's get this. Come on, get it. And this. Okay, next turn then. Mm. 
We have discovered Blood Sigil. Okay. Um, random enemy group, no. Flame wave, no. Pillar of flame, wall of fire. That's a good one. Let's go in here. Oh, hi. How are you guys doing? Oh wow, we can auto resolve against these as well. That's funny. Okay. How about now? Uh, Varda will have to kind of... Wait, can we actually... Can we actually found this because it's under nobody's control? I think we can. We can. And we probably should, otherwise we're gonna get attacked. Uh, can I reach this? I can. Okay. What the hell just happened? No, 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 that's not good. Okay. Well, balls. Uh, we can make this work though. Staden heart. I don't know what that means or what that is, but uh, um, what do we call it? We call it Eisenwald because you know, why the hell not? And we will um. Oh, Athica level up. That is really sweet. Uh, let's get some more production here. This is getting pretty merry. Indeed it is. Um, do you have anything equipped? No, you don't. Okay, step out, please. I may need you somewhere. Um, hang on. Spells, cloud walk. Where's Kaplan? Can they still do anything this turn, though? They can. Okay. Good. Don't really want my newly founded city to get uh, smashed. Wow. You guys are arseholes. Right. Charge! Holy crap. <laughs> um, okay. Let's do a flanking attack on these idiots. Mm. Okay, it heals itself. Let's pop invulnerability. And lower the defenses. Mm -hmm. Uh... Those wolves are kind of a bit of a waste of time. On the other hand, it's not that bad. Let's just attack it. Hmm. Okay. What can you do? You can't reach it quite yet. He's so slow. Um. Go around here, I guess. And you guys follow. Is that thing only healing itself and that's all it does maybe? I don't know. Let's try a true strike on it and see how it fares. It dies. That's how it fares. Okay, sweet. So we got that covered and we got some places to go. Nice, and we got some lairs to clear out, and we got another city found it, and we got all sorts of things to do. Shards to claim, I could just endlessly produce pioneers now and um, claim all that stuff. Oh, interesting. We've closed the gap here, huh? Hmm. Well, that's... Not bad. Uh, did I actually lose a... Oh, 
this is continuing in this direction as well. Nice. Okay, can you make it further up? Let's inch our way up here and see if we can actually found that city up there as well. Because that would help things a little bit. Mm. Okay, there's the army. Where can we get to? We can get to... Here. Okay, let's get off the road and into the wilderness. Uh, let's get the administrator. Where is he? Uh, where is the guy? Is it you? Yes, it is. Let's get him in here. There we go. And let's get a, a bit of a production queue going here. Okay. What the hell happened? Okay, I, I guess I got the wrong one. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Um, he's not in here. This spell is failing me. <laughs> Never mind, okay. It didn't cost any mana either. Okay, I'm... I don't know what's going on with that spell sometimes. Uh, please, use it. Now... It's you. We cast it. We go to the city. Where is it? And then you should be in here, shouldn't you? Yes, you are. Now you are. Second time's the charm, I guess. Okay, we've got more idle units. We've got you as idle units. Huh, interesting. Oh, okay. I just see how long we've been recording already. Um, maybe we should take a break soon. Can I get the city underway, though, up here? Where's the damn pioneer? Okay, that's the next turn then. Hmm. Let's have a drink. The landlord at this inn is incredibly rude and terribly condescending to you. He gives you one of his worst rooms, implying with a sneer that he's saving his best for an important person who's been in the area. We'll stay. A tyrant of the service industry is nothing to one who battles the Sorcerer King. At dinner you find the landlord fawning over a man, presumably the important person in the area. You recognize that the important person is actually a drifter who wanders from town to town looking for places to vomit. The landlord seems oblivious to this and continues to treating you rudely point out his mistake. The landlord sneers and tells you to stop being so rude. You shrug and get on with your meal. You tried. I did try, didn't I? When you check out the next day, you find the landlord shouting at the drifter, now noisily vomiting over everything. The drifter weeps and explains that he only stayed here because he was afraid of meeting the Sorcerer King's forces on the road and he never meant to impersonate anyone. Dry your eyes, little one. The drifter calmed, you promise to defeat the Sorcerer King and make the world safe for drifting again. The landlord stammers, you, you are the very important person I was waiting for. He apologizes and begs your forgiveness, offering a selection of fine gifts for you. Call him an ass and leave. No, we'll take the gifts, of course. Compassion, garlic glove, midnight stone, scout's ring, okay. Uh, Alright. Found item. Um, tally ho. Where do we go? We go there. Okay. What's this? A truck sniper. All right. And there we are. The sorcerer king is yet again keeping suspiciously quiet. We have another ogre army that we can auto resolve. <laughs> okay then. And clear it out. Very nice. Um, let's see. Can we reach this? I don't think we can. Almost. Almost. Okay then. I guess I'll end it when we found the city maybe. So let's play another turn. Uh, okay, you have this, and I guess we'll scout in that direction then. 
you guys can yeah go to the abandoned village. Why not? This village is nothing but facades held up by planks. A few men and women dash from fake house to fake house, jiggling curtains to make the place look inhabited. They explain that they created the village to fool the Sorcerer King into attacking it instead of their real home. As if on cue, the Sorcerer King chooses this moment to attack the village. Defend the fake village! You'll fight the Sorcerer King anywhere and everywhere, including a place which isn't actually a place. Why not? You've gotta be kidding me. Well... If you insist. Hello. Hmm. What are you? You are a trog? I used to have trogs once, but they all kind of died. I wonder why. Maybe because they suck. Uh, let's heal our hit points back up. Thank you. And I guess we will punch them to death now, please. Thank you, there we go. Alright, the villagers thank you for defending their fake village so valiantly. It was nothing, you say, I'd have tried way harder for a real village. Impressed with your moxie, they decide to join your fight against the Sorcerer King. Train them as pioneers, of course. Where are they? There they are. Um... Congratulations! I know it's probably more sensible to found it here initially, but this way we have like all the surrounding fields at our disposal. So let's settle and let's call it Lahnstein, because I'm running out of names from for this series, so I'm just taking them from Eisenwald. <laughs> okay, we can actually build on this already. Ah, because it's in our territory. Very nice. Okay. Right, then we don't really have much use for them here we can just claim the other shard and get our main army back on track well that was pretty cool mm -hmm. what could you buy hmm. what could you build uh, blacksmith please and you guys get a granary and you guys get a garden. And I think that's it for the moment. So yeah, we'll leave it here. I thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time and bye for now.